Thank you very much, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Speaker, today the Globe and Mail reported that an Infrastructure Ontario executive admitted in February 2011 to taking part in a $1.2 million kickback scheme, and at least one senior official executive at Infrastructure Ontario knew about this admission. Despite this, the executive was later hired to oversee St. Michael's Hospital's $300 million patient centre construction project. Apparently, the hospital was unaware of this executive's admitted role and involvement in the kickback scheme. Speaker, why didn't the Infrastructure Ontario executives let anybody know that one of their top executives had admitted to fraud? Minister of Economic Development, Employment and Infrastructure. Minister. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for the question. It is a, it is a question, I think, that's a very serious one and one that we take very seriously. I can assure you that Infrastructure Ontario also shares those concerns, uh, and they've taken action uh, right from learning of this uh, particular challenge. Uh, the first thing they did is retain an external law firm to review the procurement process with, uh, with uh, St. Michael's Hospital project, which is important. They immediately informed the chair and vice chair of their board of directors, which was important. They immediately informed my ministry, which was also an important act for them to take. They've written to the CEO of St. Michael's uh, Hospital requesting that the employee uh, in, in question be removed from the project, which has since been done. And just as importantly, IO has also just initiated a process to retain Answer. an independent firm to investigate the employment and the departure of this employee. I thank the member for the question. It's a serious issue. Thank you. Supplementary. Speaker, uh, it seems unfortunately Infrastructure Ontario has taken action immediately four years after the fact, which is uh, a serious problem. Uh, Speaker, the Globe investigation revealed that Infrastructure Ontario's chief risk officer knew about the kickback scheme as early as January 2012. The risk officer reported directly to the CEO of Infra Infrastructure Ontario, David Livingston. In May of 2012, Mr. Livingston left Ontario uh, Infrastructure Ontario to become Dalton McGuinty's Chief of Staff. Speaker, did Mr. Livingston or anybody else in Infrastructure Ontario know anything about this infrastructure, uh, this kickback scheme, and did they inform anybody within the ministry? Mr. Speaker, I think the questions raised by the, the member are legitimate questions, and I think that's, uh, that's why it's important uh, that Infrastructure Ontario has, has brought forward an independent uh, advisor, an independent firm to investigate the issue. Uh, there are serious issues here and to the best of our knowledge the board had not been informed of this of the particular circumstances around this individual, which is which is something that I think is open to question. Uh, so I, I take the matter seriously. Uh, Infrastructure Ontario takes the matter seriously uh, and indeed we look forward to determining while the actions taken by this in individual uh, the alleged actions were outside of his capacity uh, as an employee of I.O. The fact is, he was an employee of I.O. at the time, and we want to make sure there are no discrepancies during his time uh, employed by I.O.